Hi there, Izzy from DigitalGoja.com showrooms and today we're going to take a look at variable neutral density filters. These guys are a very important piece of equipment that we need to work in today's photography and videography field. A lot of us want to be able to work with high ISOs and bright light and also wider apertures like for example this one happens to be a 24 1.4 so this way I can open up to my maximum aperture and blur out the background so I have full control on selective focusing and also I can guarantee that I can blur out motion so with a neutral density filter like this you can control your depth of field and your exposure time without it you have to work at these crazy super high shutter speeds that some of the cameras can't function properly at. So when you put this on, you can blur out your background and isolate your subject in direct sunlight shooting. These are optical glass, most of them are multi-coated, and like all filters, they are variable and the sizes change depending on the lens that you're working with. This one happens to be a 77 millimeter diameter, so this is a 77 millimeter variable neutral density filter. Notice that you have these little notches on the side. Remember, those are a guideline. They are not actual f-stop increments because this works anywhere between two to eight f-stops of light control. So when we thread it on, the thread just like a normal filter. Now, very important, you gotta take into consideration that most of these guys are wider in the front to accommodate the photographer and the videographer ease of turning the filter to accommodate the actual light control that they want so you can no longer use your existing lens cap because it usually becomes the next size up like for example now this is an 82 millimeter diameter but i'll show you on the live view mode here how you can notice how see how this is now set to pretty much the maximum darkness so i can make it brighter and brighter and brighter and again I'm using the notches here as sort of a guideline but these aren't actual f-stops so this is just a way that I can keep track of how much I want to make it lighter or darker but this is where you as a videographer or a photographer come into play and you can create the images that you prefer so this is very important in today's world of videography and digital photography Again, ideas or questions for videos on photographic equipment, subscribe to our link underneath and please shoot me an email at video at digitalgoja.com. Happy shooting.